I forgot what I was going to say. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of Leon's Garage Adventures. Today, we are moving. Fun stuff. Some of you guys might be wondering, where has Leon been? Others probably don't think about me at all. That's okay. But, for those of you that have, I decided to move out into the wilderness, become a Sasquatch, and uh, that's about it. It's entirely too cold, so time to move back to Florida. Pretty much, I uh, just decided to keep the cars and throw away the rest. Uh, too much money to move, especially with fuel prices. That being said, I'll let you guys check in on me from time to time for the next, you know, two, three days as a drive. Well, if anybody's wondering what it's like to tow three cars with a single wheel 2500 Duramax, have you ever towed like a truck with a 1500 and just like, it's a little slower, but still does all right. That's pretty much it. Except for the trans temp gauge isn't screaming at me. It doesn't downshift every two seconds and it actually runs good. Oh wait, that's a V6 1500 because them LS ones, boy. <laughs> if anybody's wondering why I got a whole bunch of different cars than last time you seen, well, it's been a year, kind of, almost, like a month away, but I tried to sell all my cars and then everybody was like, hey, I'll give you this nice shiny car for it. All right, fine. So now I'm just hauling a bunch of junk back, you know, doing what I do. Oh, speaking of junk, y'all should go over and check out the new channel. Me and Andrew are doing a channel together called Rustaholic. And it's Rustaholic, <laughs> spelled like hall, H-A-U-L pretty cool uh, we're gonna I think we're gonna do mostly the videos just together um, but still have our own channels too everybody keeps going to Lowe's but it's Easter Sunday so it's just empty parking lot also I picked up a car trailer in Tennessee for pretty much a song and a dance and knock on wood seems to be doing all right I don't want to speak out of line or hey I really need some actual wood around here because you know I shouldn't have said that I should not have said that oh man we're hoping for the best and by where I mean me I'm hoping for the best uh, pretty much I mean the tires are old the trailer has been sitting for like five years um, we did grease the bearings but I mean, there's a lot more that you could do. Um, on the way up, I bought in Tennessee, drove it to Washington. Uh, on the way up, the lights quit working while well, I wired up a plug and kept ripping it out because the location that my plug was in was behind the tailgate. And every time the truck would turn real sharp, it would just either rip the plug out or uh, ripped the harness that I had spliced in Yeah, so finally I, I just got tired of the the plug getting ripped out and I uh, I shoved the little harness under the tailgate Crammed it shut and then wired it up inside and it seems to be doing pretty good I've only had the plug come out one other time and I think that's just from like I don't know vibration or something because I ended up uh, Breaking the whole plug basically it just slides in and out now the whole the little flap door that comes down and locks it in is all broke off and the the part that actually locks the the plug into the uh the bumper that's all messed up fun times but uh, yeah it uh <laughs> it's super ghetto uh but i think when i get back we're going to we're going to paint it up clean it up and basically make it nice I mean, it's decent, but we're going to make it nice, I think. Uh, also, 
I may sell it or I may keep it for future hauling. Uh, the plan, which would be like ideal, would be pretty cool, would be I want to do a fifth wheel or a gooseneck in the back of the GMC and then I can haul classics with that or I can just do it with my small trailer either way but a lot of times you know somebody be like hey I want two cars for this one alright because you know trading and stuff is fun fun times I don't know that was definitely a rant okay bye ah yes this is Montana almost to Billings Anyways, there's nothing out here but signs for meth and apparently storage units. That's about it. And more signs for meth. There was a sign back there that said, Ask me who I tied to a steering wheel. What? Yeah, and then it said <laughs> and then it said Montana Meth Project. Oh my god. Like, Alright. Oh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Sometimes you think to yourself, hey, you're already doing some illegal shit. Why not just add some on top? Just kidding. This section of Montana is basically just Indians, hills, and casinos. Also, there's always one Indian that's walking down this road by himself, two o'clock in the morning, smoking a cigarette, playing poker by himself. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure they're on meth. That's all this whole state is, meth. Meth and proof that this whole world is just a cold, dead rock and more hills and teepees and casinos. That's it. Another fun fact about Montana, if you get pulled over for speeding, you can pay cash. Either that or we ran into a crooked cop. <laughs> I couldn't get the camera out fast enough. There was a damn Indian Walking down the road, smoking a cigarette. Ah! I tried to get it. I could not get the camera out fast enough. <laughs> oh man, the turnaround. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you imagine trying to turn that big trailer around on this? <laughs> it was so close, man. same for the last like I don't know forever so I basically haven't recorded anything <laughs> well made it to Iowa and the roads are poo we had to stop in to uh, well we had to take a detour so I was like ah fuel so we stopped in and uh, every single car in the parking lot was like completely rusted through I was like oh we got to get out of here hey I don't want my car is catching cancer. <laughs> Basically just tractors and four tractors. Rusted out cars. This is the area that always floods in. Flood land. It is definitely a better change than Montana though. And South Dakota. And Wyoming. They're all pretty much the same state with different names. Missouri. Welcome to road work. Yeah. Look at this shit. The first green grass of the season. The last one of the season. Well, good news and bad news. Hey, that guy got a flat too. I mean, 
Sun drop. Sun drop, yeah. Well, let's go check out the old damage we got going on. Do, 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 do. Oh man, we done knocked off the damn wires off. What the hell? Don't messed up, AA Ron. Well, I guess I'll go turn on the flashers and see if the uh, if those are wires we need or not. Apparently, someone. Uh, <laughs> someone replaced that before. Alrighty, ready to ride. Got the wires. Uh, they didn't go to anything uh, except for I think maybe some side lights. So good to go. Leaving this parking lot, I'm not sure if that's the guy's tire or if that was part of our tire. Uh, I guess it's ours. Well, apparently now it's the state of uh, Missouri's. Yeah, this is Missouri going over the Mississippi River, going to Illinois. And then the next one, going out of Illinois, you go over the Ohio River, and then you go to Kentucky. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we got the the flat tire from these freaking massive potholes, man. They're the literally we seen oh yeah we seen a Miata fall in and didn't come back it didn't out. Come out. Yeah. Oh 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 God, no! What the hell? So I ask again. Without the government, who's gonna fix the roads? <laughs> Who the is fixing them now? <laughs> it is so green. It's very nice. Take Welcome to Kentucky. Yes. No signs. Welcome to Kentucky. Yep. Like, we're not even gonna put a sign up. It's on the other side. I was gonna say it might be on the other side. on them. I wasn't going in there anyways. <laughs> Got him! I don't think you can pull the helicopter. Oh yeah, maybe not. It's <laughs> going on right now. It's definitely fueling it's it up though. It up. Yeah. Right. Old military plane filling up a damn helicopter. Mm -hmm. They're after me for not going through the way station. <laughs> Dude, I'll go. I mean Tennessee. Old I-24, the worst road in the whole world. Looks like hopefully they're going to fix that. Probably not. <laughs> they're creating the potholes right now. <laughs> they're, they're taking patches from the moon, taking the craters, and countersinking them into the road to yes. make it the way it is. There's a speed trap ahead. Oh, Lord. I mean, I'm only going 25. <laughs> So, we made it over here to Andrews, all in one piece. Time to unload some cars. Also, I don't want to back this into Andrews' uh, side yard without unloading it because it probably will just sink and then live there forever in the ground. Don't worry, the nicest one's held on together with a bicycle strap. Shh, that's my bicycle strap. <laughs> So we ended up getting everything off the trailer. We're gonna take this fella home. Where's that tire? Oh, why is it like? Look at the side of that bitch. Yeah, they didn't look great to begin with. What do you, what and do you mean? And then they went 4,000 miles. They went no 6,000 yeah. miles, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we got everything unloaded and that's good for now. I kinda, we just dumped this in Andrew's side yard. 
and uh, I guess that's it for this video. We're pretty much done with this part of moving. Sweet. You guys have a wonderful day. I don't even tell them what uh, channel this is. I'm guessing that, that is for your it's fine. Leon's girl. Oh, okay. Welcome, everybody. Oh, wait, no, I think maybe I said that.